Hello, hello, this is Addy SC2 bringing to you a 1 versus 1. This is going to be a Protoss versus Terran from Mao's Hazu against ESC Goody. Hazu being the yellow Protoss down at the bottom left hand corner of Delta Quadrant, and uh, ESC Goody being the purple Terran down at the right hand side. Now, a little bit about Delta Quadrant we have some destructible debris blocking down the backdoor expansions of both players. We also have the uh, a nice base over here right outside the player's main base. And we also have a rich mineral field base blocked by some more destructible debris. Now we do see the first pile line going down for uh, Maz Hazu. So we usually see the pile line going down over here with the um, the gateway over here and the cybernetic over here providing a wall. But at the highest level of play, Protoss players choose not to do that because you get a nice concave with your units, with your stalkers, with your sentries, so that once these marines and marauders come running in, all your stalkers and units can be attacking it instead of only one or two. So we do see the uh, Terran player deciding to choke up, so we see the uh, gateway going down over here, and we're going to see the next supply depot go down right over here to uh, finish his wall. And uh, it's completely standard, gateway going down, probably going to get a uh, refinery real soon, yeah, there it is, and probably the orbital command around 16. So yeah, before this game gets too crazy, I don't know how much crazier it can possibly get, but I'm really excited for this game, because it's my first cast of any StarCraft 2 game, of any game at all, so yeah, I'm super excited and uh, hopefully it's going to be a good one. So we do see the Protoss player uh, scouting out over here, it's going to be a nice little um, little shape he's making, but the Terran player is going to be the last place he scouts, and uh, same thing for the Terran player, because he is scouting the wrong way, are the workers going to meet, they are going to meet, they're going to see exactly what's going on with both players. Um, so now the Protoss player is going to continue to scout the wrong way. Uh, second pylon going down, gas going down. Probably going to get a cybernetic score real soon. Chrono boost, chrono boost being used on these probes to get some more out. We have the orbital command going down. Probably going to throw down some mules. Always a good idea as Terran because they get minerals like nothing else. And there it is. We got the usual worker high five going down at the um, top corner of the map. We have the cybernetics core going down. Also, we have a tech lab going down for the uh, turn per. Probably gonna make that marauder slow. Maybe some marauders out. Um, we do have a marine rallied outside his base. We might see some sort of early aggression from Giddy. That's always nice to see some um, early aggression from a Terran player, which is always interesting. We have the second gateway going down for the toss. Choosing not to get that robotics, but choosing to get the second gateway, I guess, for uh, more producing for producing more units. We do see the uh, Marauder going out and an SCV going out. Is he going to move out? He's moving out. So, Getty's going to move out, go down to uh, Maz has his base, going to be like, yo, what's up? What's going on? They're going to they're gonna fight a little. This Zealot's just going crazy. He's like, oh my god, where's the battle at? Where's the battle at? But the battle's right here. We have two SCVs, a Marauder and a Marine coming into his base against one Zealot, but the Sentry's almost done, so maybe he'll get a Money Force Field down and... Uh, repel this, but it doesn't seem like it's going to be too big of a deal. He is chrono boosting out a stalker. Uh, the second gateway is completely useless. He needs to... There you go. He's uh, getting his second stalker out, so I think he'll be just fine. But a bunker is going down, so we uh, we see this bunker rush going. But I still think he's completely fine. He's got to kill, down, kill out that SCV. Kill the SCV. Um, Alright, don't kill the SCV. A force field going down, blocking his probe from attacking his units. Um, not too great of a force field. But that's okay, the bunker is just about finished, he got units in, oh, he's got to pull back right now, he's going to lose all his probes. Pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back! Alright, he pulls back. Uh, only four probes left from that attack, but he still has a lot of mining. Let's see what's going down, he gets his second gas, so he's going to throw down a factory, probably going to throw down a starport, maybe have some banshee play. Who knows, this gateway looks like it's going to go down, because this uh, marauder and this bunker is just going to take it down real quick. Um... So yeah, it looks like that attack paid off. So he did lose a lot of Marauders and Marines, but um, I still think the uh, Terran player is in favor right now because of all the probes that Hazu lost. Uh, just gonna bring the uh, the APM tab because it usually tells us who is the Korean and who isn't. Looks like Hazu is the Korean of the two because his APM is like freaking a thousand. So yeah, he loses the gateway, but that's it's totally cool. He has one over here. Probably needs to rebuild that. There we go. And um, yeah, looks like this is going to be just fine. Um, move these probes back. Move back, move back, move back, move back. Um, 
Yeah, all he's got to do is throw down some more stalkers and he can take that bunker out, no problem. He is putting some units over here just to uh, make sure any more reinforcing units doesn't get to his base. Just fine. Another bunker being thrown down. I don't know how useful this bunker is going to be, but it's totally fine because you can salvage these bunker and get back 100% of resources that you've lost in making that bunker, so it's cool. A two-sided attack going down for Puxplay. He's got to salvage it right now, or he's going to lose his bunker. Oh, uh, yeah, he lost it. He lost it. He didn't get to, he didn't get to salvage it. So, wouldn't be surprised if the Terran player starts working on these destructible debris right now in order to get his expansion down. He does have um, almost 400. Well, he just wasted all of it in order to make some more SCVs. He has four queued up. There we go, canceling the SCVs. Uh, we got a nice little building switch going now, switching the starport and the factory. You might think, oh, why is he doing that? He just wants to get the tech lab on the starport so he can make that Banshee much faster. We have the cloak going down with the Banshee. We have only one Rax right now producing a, um, a bunch of Marines and Marauders. And, uh, it's the, uh, it's the old 1-1-1 build where he built one barracks, one factory, and one starport. And, whoa, the Protoss player is going straight for the, um, the gold expansion. Not a bad idea, but this is going to be really hard to defend because, uh, Terran player can just attack from this side, he can just go down from here, and uh, this is pretty far from his main base, I'm pretty surprised taking that instead of maybe taking this or working on these rocks to take that. Um, just bringing up the, uh, the units tab, we have 27 probes, 30 SCVs, so he still has that uh, worker advantage, and he still has those mules that he can still call down, he can pretty much outmine anything with those mules. We only have five stalkers. Um, the army sizes aren't that big. We have siege tank being produced, probably siege tech being researched too. Yeah, there we go. Stim pack also being researched, not a bad idea. Um, combat shield not being researched. We don't see those shields on those marines. Now the thing about this banshee is you can come from like you can come from this side, you can come from here, you can come from here. Banshees can just stack everything. You can plant a banshee here to attack this, attack this. You can plant one right here to attack all three at the same time. You can harass this, you can harass this. So I don't know. Banshees seem kind of imbalanced on this map, but I don't be I don't want to be one of those guys who cries like, oh man, oh that's so imbalanced, guys. Like oh, turn turn should just be taken out. It shouldn't even be a race. But no, not that kind of guy. You know, just gotta. Just gotta take it. So, well, I am a Terran player, so I shouldn't be talking, but it's totally cool. This Banshee, is, you know, is it gonna spot this uh, expansion? Let's see, let's see, let's see. So, no, it hasn't seen the expansion yet, but maybe it will sometime soon. Just gotta move on move on over here, Banshee. Come on, Banshee. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, it's moving, it's moving. And it does see the two stalkers, then it does see the next over there that's just about to be made, so... He's got to be a little happy about that. Now, I can I can see the uh, Protoss player being a bit nervous about this, sending uh, sending probes over. His Terran player has seen that expansion. I think he wants to keep that hidden for as long as possible, but looks like that couldn't happen. We do have this Raven out probably going to, for some auto turrets back here. If you throw down two auto turrets here, you can take care of these probes in no time. So, it's always a great idea. Two factories pumping out siege tanks and Hellions. Um... I don't know about this unit choice for these uh, Hellions because they don't do too much damage against the Stalkers or the Zealots, but they can micro wall against the Zealots, so it's not that bad of an idea. We do see Infernal Preigniter hasn't been researched, so if you want those Hellions, you want those Infernal Preigniters because it does so much more damage against light units, like it's just ridiculous. So the Terran player has taken over his gas, probably want to throw down some more workers down on these refineries. And the Protoss player building a pylon here. I don't know I don't know why, because all you need is a probe to get that um get that vision. Because buildings do not give you vision on Zelnaga watchtowers. So we're gonna see a little battle over here. Uh tanks being sieged up, force field being used, split this army in half. It's not doing too much since he does have the tanks to back this army up. So we have a nice army composition for the Terran player, a couple siege tanks, a few marines, a few marauders, some hellions, a raven, uh, it's just crazy army composition. While the Protoss sticking with the, the Stalker, Sentry, Zala, and Colossi, uh, Terran player setting camp over here, but the Protoss player looks like he's going to flank. Um, he's not in range of the tanks yet, he's going to be right now. 
So tank's probably gonna take care of all these stalkers if he directly engages. Not a good idea. These Marines Mars gonna run in, probably gonna target fire this Nexus or maybe some probe. Yep, he's gonna hit this Nexus. Uh, and uh, Hazu might lose this Nexus. It's a pretty big deal because if he loses his Nexus, he has pretty much no mining base. He has this, but this is almost mined out. So he is attacking this. At the same time, he has a tank drop over here. Uh, this tank gonna kill this stalker. Probably gonna target fire some probes. 